Let's explore an idea about divisibility. So we say that a number is divisible by another number if upon the division we get a remainder of zero. And at that point in time, we say that the second number divides the first number. So that's a lot of jargon. So let's maybe look at a concrete example. So we can say that six is divisible by two because six divided by two is equal to three. So it's a number that has no remainder. So at that point in time, it divided evenly. We can also say that two divides six. And sometimes we say two goes into six. So it's helpful when you're working with numbers if you can know that if a number divides another number uh, evenly. In order to really have a good understanding about divisibility, um, they're linked to your uh, single digit multiplication facts. So if those multiplication facts, or sometimes they're called your times tables, are still a little bit fuzzy for you, let me know and I can provide some additional resources for you so you can get very comfortable with your multiplication facts. So then it makes this idea about divisibility and numbers being divisible by another number a little bit easier. One of the major uh, classifications of numbers that we do, of whole numbers specifically, that relate to this idea about divisibility is whether or not a number is even or odd. So an even number is going to be a whole number that is divisible by 2. So 2 divides it evenly with no remainder. So for instance, looking in our whole number system, uh, even numbers would be uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and so on. So those would be classified as even numbers. Every one of those numbers is um, able to be divided by 2 with no remainder. An odd number is kind of defined by what it's not. We just say an odd number is not even, right? So it's not divisible by 2. If you divide 2 into that number, you will get a remainder, specifically 1. So examples of odd numbers in the whole number system would be uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. So that's going to be one of the, the first major things that we want to be able to identify when we look at a number and we think about this idea about divisibility is whether or not that number is even or odd. Um, there's other things that you should be able to tell for divisibility by looking at a number, and those are broken into what are called divisibility tests. So we can tell whether a number is even, which means it's divisible by 2, if the last digit in the number is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So if that is the last digit in the number, then we uh, know that the number will be divisible by 2. Some of the other things that you should know just by looking at the number, if it's divisible by 5, a number will be divisible by 5 if the last digit in the number is a 0 or a 5. So if it ends in one of those two things, the number is divisible by 5. And if the last digit is specifically a 0, it's also going to be divisible by 10. So all of those rules involve looking at what's in the last digit. There's also two rules that are very easy to implement and very helpful rules is the test for divisibility by 3 and divisibility by 9. So the rule for divisibility by 3 is that if you add up all the digits in the number, that sum that you get must be divisible by 3. If that's the case, then the entire number was divisible by 3. And if you add up all the digits and that sum is divisible by 9, then the entire number was divisible by 9. So let's take a look at applying some of these divisibility tests to various numbers to kind of clarify what we're talking about. All right, so let's take a look at the first number is 1,770. So we're going to test it to see if it's divisible by 2, by 3, by 5, by 9, and by 10. Now first off, is this number divisible by 2? Yes, it is. And why? Because it ends in one of these five numbers. It ends in a 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Uh, specifically, it's because it ends in a 0. Coming down to the rule for 5, since the last digit is a 0, is this number divisible by 5? The answer to that is also yes, because it ends in a 0. And is this number going to be divisible by 10? Yes, also, because specifically it ends in a 0.
Okay, so it satisfied those three rules just by looking at what is in this last spot. So let's do the rule or the test for divisibility by three. Uh, when I say sum the digits, the digits in this number are one, seven, seven, and zero. So let's add them up. So one plus seven plus seven plus zero is 15. Is 15 divisible by three? Yes, it is. So because 15 is divisible by three, this number is divisible by three. Okay. All right, so let's maybe write ourselves a little note for that. So, um, so is this number divisible by three? We're gonna say yes, since 15 is divisible by three, which means three goes into 15 evenly with no remainder, then the entire number, the 1,770 is divisible by three. Now what you get upon division, you would have to figure that out. That's not what we're trying to find right now. We're just trying to find out if three divides it evenly with no remainder, and it will. So the test for nine would be we sum of the digits and that sum is divisible by nine. So we've already summed the digits right here. So one plus seven plus seven plus zero is 15. Uh, does 9 divide 15 evenly? No, it does not. So this number will not be divisible by 9 because uh, 9 does not divide 15 does not divide 15 with no remainder, right? So that we're specifically looking for um, being divisible with no remainder. All right, so let's try these divisibility tests on a, another number just to kind of run through a couple more examples. So the next number we're going to look at is 577. Uh, is that number divisible by 2? No, it's not, because it doesn't end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. It ends in a 7. Okay. Uh, is this number divisible by 3? So if I sum the digits, 5 plus 7 plus 7 is 19. Uh, does 3 divide into 19 evenly with no remainder? No, it does not. Okay. So since uh, 19 is not divisible by 3, this entire number is not divisible by three. All right, moving on. Is this number divisible by five? So uh, for divisibility by five, it has to end in a zero or a five. This ends in a seven, so no, not divisible by five. Is this number divisible by nine? Well, the sum of the digits is 19. Uh, and is, does 19, when you divide it by nine, does it divide evenly? No, it does not. Right? It, you can divide it, but it has a remainder. So since uh, you can't divide 9 into 19 without a remainder, this number is not going to be divisible by 9 without a remainder. Finally, is this number divisible by 10? It doesn't end in a 0, so no. All right, so let's move on to another example. How about 2,455? Now, I encourage you maybe to try these last two on your own. So pause this, run through the uh, last two of them, and then check it against what I'm about to do so that way you can kind of go through the thought process yourself. All right, so for 2,455, is this divisible by 2? So the last digit is a 5. It's not a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So no, not divisible by 2. Is this divisible by 3? Well, if I sum the digits, I would get uh, 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5, which is 16. Does 3 go into 16 evenly with no remainder? No, it does not. So since 3 doesn't go into 16 evenly, 3 will not go into 2,455 evenly. Is this number divisible by 5? Yes, it is, because it ends in a 5 or a 0. Specifically, it ends in the 5. Is this number divisible by 9? Oh, well, I'm checking, Does uh, if I do 16 divided by 9, does that divide evenly? And it does not. So this number is not divisible by 9. And then is this number divisible by 10? It has to end in a 0, and this number does not. 
Nines and a five. So nope, not divisible by 10. All right, moving on, our last example is gonna be 674. So let's check that. Is that number divisible by two? Yes, it is. It ends in a four, which satisfies being one of these five numbers, zero, two, four, six, or eight. So because it ends in a four, this number will be divisible by two. Is this number divisible by three? Well, if I sum the digits, six plus seven plus four is 17. Does three go into 17 evenly? No, it does not. So this number is not divisible by three. Is this number divisible by five? No, it is not. It doesn't end in a five or zero. Is it divisible by nine? No, it is not. The sum of the digits is 17 and nine does not go into 17 evenly. And is this number divisible by 10? No, it is not. Okay, so out of these lists, uh, just two would divide it. Now, by the way, there's divisibility tests for other numbers out there. Like there, I know that there's a test for seven and there's a test for 11. Um, those tests are usually though a little bit complicated. So um, instead of uh, implementing them, sometimes we just pull out our calculator and actually do the division. But these ones are able, um, the test for two, three, five, nine, and 10 are quick and easy. Three of them just involve you looking at the number in the last digit. Uh, the three and nine test asks you to sum the digits and look at that sum, which is usually, again, pretty straightforward to do. So these ones are really quick ways to, to find out um, if these, if a number is divisible by these kind of these special five numbers.